Hello everyone. My name is Reshma Ohara, Assistant Professor from Department AI and AI and DS from AI SMS IIT. Uh, today's our lecture is continued from object oriented programming. That is OOP. Last lecture we will discuss the fundamentals list or the fundamentals of OOP. So here are the contents related with this. Uh, first one is the namespaces, objects, classes, data members, methods, messages, data encapsulation, data abstraction, and information hiding, inheritance, and polymorphism. So these are the contents which we will discuss in this lecture. Uh, so what is fundamentals of object-oriented programming? So here is the namespaces first one. So what is it? So a namespaces is a declarative region that provides a scope to the identifiers, the names of the types, functions, variables, etc. inside it. So namespaces are used to organize code into logical groups and to prevent name collisions that can occur, especially when your code base includes multiple libraries. So for example, using namespace standard, here, uh, standard is a std is the namespace where ANSI C++ standard class libraries are defined. So that's why we are declaring it uh, using namespace standards or STDs. Uh, so the next one is the fundamentals of OP uh, or the object oriented programming. So defining namespace. So how it will be defining in the syntax format. So what is the syntax for the namespace? Uh, so here is the namespace, namespace underscores the name and uh, curly bracket open with their uh, code declaration. It will be denoted in the comment format and uh, the curly bracket is closed. So this is nothing but the syntax for namespaces. Uh, then here will be one program as an example. We will take it for the namespacing for uh, creating it so the here first one is the header file of the hash include io stream uh, then the using namespace standard the first namespace so namespace first underscore space in the void functions we will call it and see out then the, uh, in the second namespace we will declare it as an namespace second and underscore space uh, then the uh, main functionality will call the functions from first namespace uh, by the scope resolution by using it and the same similar pattern for the second namespace. We will call the functions. Um, so next point is the uh, objects. So what is objects? So objects are the basic runtime entities in an object oriented systems for next when a program is executed the objects interact by sending message to one another objects take up space in the memory we can create a number of objects belonging to particular class then uh, object example so we will take the object example for this so first the, we will declare a class as an example from the curly bracketed in that the code is get returned by the user then in main uh, in main functionality uh, we will take the example or object so that the object of class example uh, is created uh, then next one is the classes so what is it uh, we will see a class in C++ is the building block that leads to object oriented programming. So it is a user defined data type which holds its own data members and member functions which can access and use by creating an instance of the class. So a C++ class is like a blueprint for an object. So fundamentals of object oriented programming. So uh, here the classes from that we can see class is a keyword class name is a user defined name and from the curly braces open uh, so access specifiers can be a private public or protected we can use it 
from the data members variables uh, to be used and in a member function methods to access the data members so curly braces are get closed with a semicolon then the class name ends with a semicolon so these are the concept related with the fundamentals of op uh, the further points are we will discuss in next lectures uh, so thank you